Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to knit this little lamb lovey. So let's get started. And for this little lovey doll I used burnout blanket for the body part and worsted weight yarn for the face. I'm going to make the face first and I'm going to work with two strands of worsted weight yarn in gray and six millimeter knitting needles. And I'm going to cast on 18 stitches. Okay, I have cast on 18 stitches. Now I'm going to work in stockinette stitch. And because I used my grandmother's casting on method, I've really already knitted one row. So I'm going to work in stockinette stitch, but I'm going to begin with a purl row. So I'm going to purl every stitch across the row. So all the way across the row. Okay, I purled every stitch across the row and now I'm going to knit every stitch across the row. All the way across the row. Okay, I have knit every stitch across the row and that's the stockinette stitch. So now I would turn my work and I would purl the next row and I'm going to keep doing that like this until I have worked a total of eight rows. So eight rows of stockinette stitch and now I'm going to decrease and to do my decrease row I have knit two stitches together all the way across the row. So to do that I insert my needle into two stitches and then I knit the two stitches together. Insert the needle into two stitches and knit them off together. Okay, I reduced all the way across the row and that's this row right here. Over the next row I'm going to purl across the row and I'm going to cast off each stitch after it is worked. So I purl the first two stitches and then pull the previous stitch over and off the needle. Purl the next stitch pull the previous stitch over and off the needle. And you're going to do that all the way across the row. And when you've completed that, this is what it will look like. You'll have a section that looks like this. Now you're going to fold the section in half, thread the yarn ends into a needle. So now sew through this end and this end. Sew that together. So insert the needle into the stitch on this side and on this side. And this seam is not going to show in your finished little lamb. So go ahead and sew all the way up to here. And just tuck this end down inside. And sew across the bottom. Pass the yarn end inside. And then stop the cavity. Like that. To make the top of the head, I'm going to work it sort of like a little hat. And I'm working with Bernat blanket yarn. And I'm still using my six millimeter needles. Cast on 18 stitches. Okay, I've cast on 18 stitches, knit the first stitch. Now in the second stitch, I'm going to knit two stitches. So I'm going to knit one stitch in the back of the stitch, and then I'm going to come around and knit one stitch in the front. I'm going to pass those two stitches back onto my left needle and knit that stitch. And that will form these little bumps. Knit the next stitch. Form a bump in the next stitch. Knit one stitch in the front, one stitch in the back, 
I have those two stitches, pass those two stitches back onto my left needle and knit them both off together. And I'm going to do that all the way across the row. So knit the next stitch and you can either work front and back or back and front, it doesn't matter. So Slide those two stitches back onto the left needle and knit the stitch. I'm going to do that all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row. When you turn it over, you see there are the bumps all the way across the row. And if there's one that's not out, you can poke it out with your finger. And that's this row. For the next row, knit across the row. So knit every stitch all the way across the row. All the way across the row. So that's this row in between my bumps. So the next row will be exactly the same as this one. Knit a bump in every second stitch and then another row of knit across the row. And you just do that for one, two, three, four, so that you have four rows of bumpy stitches. And then I'm going to decrease for the top of the hat. To decrease with two stitches together across the row. So knit two stitches together all the way across the row. And you'll have nine stitches at the end of the row. And then you'll turn. And you'll knit those stitches and cast off each stitch after it is worked. And this is what that will look like. So you tuck that end inside, thread the yarn end into a yarn needle. Now you're going to bring these two ends together and sew them. And then sew all the way up, the same as for the face, and close up the top of the hat. And there's what that will look like. And then stuff the hat. Place the face inside, and in the back, I'm going to pull the, fit, the hat all the way down to the face, but I'm going to let it go up a bit in the front. I'll just tuck that in, like that, and then sew all the way around. Sew all the way over to, over to here. So tuck it in nicely so that you have a nice curve here. These are the ears, and to make the ears, I cast on five stitches. I knit every row for six rows, and then I knit two stitches together across the row, leaving me with three stitches, and then I knit the final three stitches together. And I'm going to sew these on the bottom of the hat. So thread the yarn end into a needle, and sew that across here. Like that. And I'm going to weave this yarn end into the finished work. I will leave, weave this yarn end into the ear. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew the opposite ear on. Okay, and that's what that will look like. I have the two ears sewn on and the hat sewn on. This is the section for the arms. And to do the arms, I cast on 10 stitches. I worked 28 rows. And then I cast off, fold these in half. And with the yarn end, I'm going to weave all the way around. Close that in, sew all the way up and then close this other end. So now I have the sleeves ready. I'm going to mark the center, which is about here, and I'm just going to pass the yarn through there, wrap it around, and take an extra stitch like that. And now I'm going to bring the head over, and I'm going to sew this center of the arms right to the bottom of the head. And go through again and I'm going to do that several times until I have this securely attached to the head. To make the body I cast on 24 stitches and then I knit every row until I had formed a square. All four sides are approximately the same size. Then just cast off. So then fold this diagonally and then fold it to find the center and I'm going to bring the arms down right here and then I'm going to sew all the way right through to connect the head and the arms and the body.
and that's how that looks so then just weave these yarn ends back into the finished work threaded some pink yarn into a needle and I'm going to use three rows of stitches and I'm going to make a V like that and come in from over on the side and come out tie a knot in the end and I'm going to pull that inside the head like that so pull it right inside like that so now I'm going to go down one stitch and I'm going to go in and then I'm going to come up one stitch over here and then come back over to here and then down like that and then back up here like that and then I can just take a stitch in here and then just weave that up inside and cut that off for the eyes I've threaded some black yarn into a needle and I'm going to do the eyes right here just two little slanted lines and I'll come up to this row and go down so again I'm going to start over here and I'm going to come right over to the side of that stitch tie a knot and then pull it right inside now I'm going to come down one two stitches but I'm going to come over to the next row and then I'm going to come right up here right across from here and again come down level to here and come all the way over to the side of the head like that and pull that inside the head and trim it off like that with a q-tip and some blush add a circle of blush to the cheeks tie a ribbon around the neck and there you go there's the finished lamb lovey i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching bye for now